Hey folks, Ray from LoveYourRV.com here. Uh, today I'm coming to you from the California desert, a place called Dumont Dunes. Really cool. We're just camped here, $30 for a weekly pass. We don't have any ATVs or dune buggies or anything, but it's fun to uh, hike around the dunes and watch the, the duners. Anyway, I chose this place to uh, give you another look at my champion generators. Um, I thought I'd have another video because now they've they've just hit their five-year anniversary with me. Um, I did an early review quite a while ago and also did a video on how I maintain them. But uh, so far, five years now, not one breakdown and they've just performed marvelously. marvelously. Can't complain. Um, some people have asked, you know, why did you pick the champions? Well and why I picked two of them. Well, when we first started RV and we weren't going to go full time, we were going on a one year trip around North America. And along with us, we had Angie, of course, you've seen her in a lot of videos, but we had another beagle named Oscar. He was pushing 15 years old when we left. So we were going to need a way to keep the rig cool even when we were camped off grid. We really wanted to hit a lot of national parks and state parks, and many of them don't have power. So we needed um, to be able to run our air conditioner. Um, a single 2,000 watt generator has is pretty tough to run an air conditioner. Some people do it, but you really need about 2,800 watts. So by buying two of these, I can parallel them together and run my my air conditioner unit when I desire. So uh, ever since we did we did do that a few times on that trip. Especially one time, I think it was in Ottawa, Ontario, uh, the, the temperature got up near 100 degrees. It was just crazy. And a big storm came and wiped out the, the power to the campground. So we were without power for two days in about 100 degree temps. So these little uh, champions, I put them together and we were able to keep ourselves cool and keep our batteries charged. Unfortunately, Oscar's passed away. He made it through that one year trip. It was kind of his retirement trip. And now I rarely need to, to tandem them to tandem them together anymore. I generally use one at a time for battery charging. We used them a lot before we got the solar. Now, of course, in the last year or so, we're we're building up the solar, so I don't need them near as much. But you still need a generator, and so I would uh, use them, you know, one at a time and and swap them back and forth. But uh, they've never let me down. Um, they're an inverter type. That's always a, a question people ask, you know, why do I need an inverter type? Well, the inverter type can run at different RPM, so it can do, it can give you exactly the amount of power you need versus a, a more construction type open frame generator, which just runs flat out all the time pretty well and is a lot more noisier. So these ones, you can put them into what they call econo mode. They run at a lower RPM, just give you the amount of charge you need. And they also are, are very economical on fuel. So you, I think I get about 68 hours out of a gallon of gas, which these days with gas being only two bucks a gallon is awesome. Um, one final thing with the inverter, these ones have what they call a pure or true sine wave coming out. So they have very clean power coming out of them. Some of the cheaper generators will have a choppy or a square wave which is okay for most stuff, but you know, some of your sensitive electronics, you don't want to be running it on that kind of a waveform. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is maybe fire them up and let you see how they start after five years. Uh, every year, I give them a good oil change and do all the maintenance on them, clean the spark plugs, regap the spark plugs, and ch uh, clean all the filters and stuff like that. But uh, so we'll fire it up and let you hear it go, and then I'll put them in tandem and we'll, uh, we'll uh, turn on the AC. A lot of people always want us to ask the question, can you run the AC with that? Well, it's going to be about 80 degrees or so today, so we'll, we'll run the AC. Okay, let's go. I'm sure I'm not going to annoy anybody here with the sound. This place is full of uh, dune buggies and... ATVs, even some big rails, they're pretty cool. All of the sand rails.
Okay, so that's running full out now. Um, so I'll, I'll turn it on to econo mode and you'll hear it quiet, quiet right up. There you go, so that's really nice and quiet. That's how it sounds when it's not uh, having to, to put out much power. Of course, when you're uh, putting a load on, like say your microwave or toaster, it'll rev right up. Um, I'll turn on the, the power now, and all it's hooked up to it right now is my battery charger, but you'll hear it uh, power up a bit. There you go. So now we'll uh, hook the pair of them together and fire them up and we'll uh, give the air conditioner a shot. Okay, here we go. So I got them all hooked up. The neat thing about these champions is the, the shape of them. You can stack them together. Make a nice little unit. Uh, you got to hook up these wires. It comes with this little parallel kit. It was an accessory that you buy so you can put two of them together. Um, they basically, the wires um, help the generators run in tandem so they, they stay in the same phase, I would imagine. So we'll fire both of those up and then we'll go in and, and start the AC. Okay, there we go. I have both of them uh, turned on. With maximum RPM, let's go in and check out the AC. There we go. You see running nice and cool. Okay, got her set 78 in here. Let's see what kind of temps we got coming out. So there you go, 60 degrees coming out of the AC vent, which is about right. You can get any from 18 to uh, 22 degrees difference on a typical air conditioner. So there we go. Now maybe I'll go and see if uh, turn her down into econo mode. So of course they're going to be a lot louder, they're uh, putting out some pretty good current to run that AC, it usually draws around 10 amps I imagine, sometimes 12, 15, but it works, keeps you cool in a pinch. As you can tell, I'm pretty uh, happy with my purchase of these two babies. I think the total paid was $4.99 each plus $1.20 for the uh, parallel cable. Um, I bought them in Canada, so that was in Canadian dollars. It was a pretty wicked deal at the time. Um, picked them up at Costco. It's one of the reasons I, uh, I got them. I could get them at Costco, and then if they broke down anywhere along our journey, I could just take them back. Um, some people say, why didn't you get a Honda? Hondas are better, or Yamaha. Well, when I priced it out at the time, the Hondas in Canada were going for $1,399 each, plus the parallel kit was well over $200, so it was more than twice the money. And since we had just bought a brand new uh, Cougar fifth wheel in our truck, we just didn't have all, all kinds of extra cash to spend on on the Hondas. Hondas are great. Um, I've heard them compared to this. They're a little bit quieter. I have to admit these are a few decibels louder but you know I don't know. It just depends how much money you have. I'm quite happy with these. I find them super durable. Um, I've knocked them around. You can see the, the cases are all marked up. I carry them in my uh, pickup truck because in our fifth wheel I just don't have room. I don't have big storage base to put them in. So they live right back in that uh, 
box back there, my toolbox, and they haven't come out of there, you know, other than to be used for five years. So you think of all the temperature fluctuations. We also, you know, come to places like this where we're going down washboard roads. They're in there bouncing around the whole time, and they haven't missed a beat. So uh, these uh, babies get the old Lovey RV two thumbs up if you're looking for a good econ economical generator. I highly advise the champions. So until next time, this is Ray from LoveyRV.com. Hope you enjoyed that little review and a little bit of a look at how they can run and how they run the AC. I think I'm going to have to try to climb these dunes. Wish me luck. Cheers.